You're tuning in to the Black Hollywood Live Network, featuring news, interviews, and commentary on all things Black Hollywood. Hollywood redefined. From Los Angeles, California, streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is Black Hollywood Live. Next, featuring intimate and in-depth interviews with Black Hollywood's next edition of Stars and Influencers. Black Hollywood Live. Hollywood redefined. You're listening to Black Hollywood Live. And now, the host for Black Hollywood Live, next. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to another episode of Black Hollywood Live Next, where we talk to all of the next and upcoming people. This jam right here, on it by the game, Andre. It's a request from our fantastic guest for the day. Before before we get into that, I'm Megan Thomas, at Meg Scoop on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Who are you, lovely lady? And I'm Courtney Tez, and I'll keep in touch at Tez Knows on Twitter and Instagram. Use that hashtag BHL next to talk to us. Can you nae to this? I can't. I'm not even going to embarrass myself. All right. <laughs> All right. But maybe our guest can. He, you've seen him on Disney's XD's Lab Rats. He's been on there forever. He's amazing. He's up and coming. You need to know who this guy is. Give it up for Tyrell Jackson Williams. Woo! Thank you guys for having me. Thank yes. you for being here. You're so handsome. Very. You. You're 18. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, yeah. But before we get into that, we're going to have a little icebreaker. Okay. Okay. So, on... Lab Rats, mm-hmm. the show that you're on, it's about, you know, people with superhero powers, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to see how to good you know your superheroes. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. Yeah. This should be pretty easy. Right. Okay. So Someone. this first superhero's real name is Peter Parker, and he's in love with Mary Jane Watson. Spider-Man. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Good job. Good yeah. job. Okay. This superhero protects Gotham City and has a butler whose name is Alfred. Batman. Okay. <laughs> easy. Easy. Yeah. Man, these are too easy. I made these easy. Okay. <laughs> This superhero's plan- home planet is Asgard. Thor. Oh! oh! Okay, you really know your stuff, man. I'm a, I, I gotta admit, I'm a nerd. These are, <laughs> see, and I didn't know whether to make these like super, super hard or like, okay, I don't want to be up here embarrassing you and you'd be like, I don't know none of these. So that's why I made them a little easier. Okay. Yeah. Well, when this superhero gets mad, Betty Ross is the only person that can calm him down. Hmm. Oh, did I get you? Yeah, th- maybe. Maybe. Okay. Hold on. Only Betty Ross can calm him down. Is it the Hulk? Yes! Ah, How do you keep getting everything? Okay, there's one more. This is easy. Lex Luthor is the villain in this, uh, like, opposite this Hmm. superhero. Would it be Superman? Oh, he tried to play I know, right? (laughs) These are too easy. Okay. Whatever. You're good. You got this. You know your stuff. (laughs) Sorry. I know. Being on Lab Rats, you know all your stuff. So, good job. We appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, (laughs) But, you know, let's get into uh, some new music. Yep. Let's talk about some fresh beats. Okay. So, we have Robin Thicke. He has a new song out, and we all know Robin has had kind of a rocky road since (laughs) his his divorce. Um, And this one is featuring Nicki Minaj, and it's actually Mm. called Back Together. So, I kind of read into this one, so you let me know what you think. Oh, he's going to get back together with Paula? I love it. I, I don't know. What That's about nice. you, Tyrell? You like that one? Yeah, I do. Definitely. It's pretty cool. If you keep listening to the song, I'm like, who is he trying to get back together with? Like, oh, who do you think? Paul Patton, his ex-wife. Well, that's what, you shouldn't have cheated on her, Robin. That's what happens when you cheat. You lose your woman. It's, the it's, a, it's, it's a thing. You know? <laughs> People get upset when you cheat on them. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's been a lot of divorces going on, but this one has been extremely public. So right. I'm happy he's out with some new music and use that inspiration to give us this track. Tyro, do yeah. you have any words of advice for relationships in your 18 awesome years? Hmm. You seem like a pretty mature guy. What kind of advice could you give us? Uh... I think the the best advice I could give is just always think of the other person in the relationship before you you make a decision. Well, not just like any right. decision, but a decision involving the two of you. 
Spoken like a true grown man. You better you better speak the truth. And a true gentleman. I know, a true that. gentleman. Well, let's talk about what's up in casting. So we were talking to you guys before about um, how The Wiz Live is coming to NBC December 3rd. Oh, yeah. And we're trying to figure out, we, we kept going, who should play Dorothy? Well, guess what? They cast Dorothy. Yes. And it was it's nobody. Kiki. It's not Kiki Palmer. It's not anybody that we thought. Her name is Shanice Williams. She's a native out of Kansas. And she's a newcomer. She's 19. Watch this. Love it. <laughs> I saw that NBC was doing the Wiz, and I was like, this is going to be a perfect learning experience. For the NBC um, Wiz Live, you are Dorothy. Oh, I'm just doing what I love. How awesome is that? Yeah. I got the part. Oh, my love you too. You better do it, oh, Shawnee. Yes. Have you ever called your mom and be like, Mom, I got the part? Uh, no, usually I'm with my mom whenever I, I get uh -huh. calls, so we're able to freak out together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. Well, congratulations, Shawnees. We're so excited to see you. I'm actually kind of glad they cast somebody that we don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because at first we were thinking, like, oh, they should cast somebody popular. Kiki Palmer would be a good choice. And we went through the list of people. Yeah, but there's so many great artists right. out there that deserve a chance. So I'm really happy with right. this one. And, yeah. of course, there's so many other, you know, big names. Queen Latifah's in it. Mary J. Blige. I mean... David Allen Greer, oh, everyone. Yeah, so I like it that she's new. Yeah. All right. Okay, well, let's move right on. Let's talk about you a little yes. bit, Tyrell. Okay. Looking All like right. your brother. <laughs> Looking like twins. Looking like Tyler. All right. Uh, yeah, let's talk about you a little bit. So you are you were raised in New York, correct? Yes. What part? Uh, I was raised uh, in a suburb outside the city. I was okay. raised in uh, Westchester. Where's your accent? I've been here for 10 years, so okay. it kind of left. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were, like, trained to neutralize your accent or something. Well, no, like, um, if I spend uh, enough time there, I, I'll get it back. It kind of okay. comes back naturally. But, uh, I don't know, I guess I've just developed a sort of non-accent. Right, right, right. right, right. So Which is so, great. Yeah, so what was it like growing up in New York? It was really cool. I, I like the the energy of New York. It's a very uh, it's a lot more laid back than in, in Los Angeles. Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I I've heard a lot of people say that um, people in New York can be really mean, uh -huh. which I don't entirely understand. Right. It's just like everyone has a, like. They have somewhere to go. Right, right. Time. Not necessarily me. They're just in a, like, yeah. I get somewhere. Sorry. Like, they have, like, they walk with purpose. Right. <laughs> like, if you happen to be in a way, you happen to be in a way. Right. Oh my <laughs> of goodness. the purpose. Yeah, so you actually come from an acting family. Your brother, Tyler yeah. Williams, is on multiple things. You've seen him on the Chris Rock show. What's the name? Sorry, I'm drawing. Uh, everybody, everybody hates Chris. Everybody hates Chris. Chris How am yeah. I drawing a blank? Yeah. So you come from an acting family. Did you always, you know, did you know that you were going to be an actor growing up all along? Or is it something that you just kind of fell into being in the family that you're in? Um, I want to say it's something I knew um, for as long as I can remember. I uh, I got into acting, seeing my older brother acting, okay. um, and asking my mom to get me into it. Mm -hmm. And I had... I, I have no... I don't rem I have no memory of that moment. <laughs> uh, I was so young that I just... I was like, I want to do this. Right. And my, my mom was... She she understood and she said, "Okay, I'm, I'll get you into it. If at any moment you don't want to do it, let us know, right. and you're not going to be doing it." And I fell in love with it. I've been doing it ever since. That's wow. awesome. Have you and your brother ever like gone in for the same part, audition for the same part? No, not okay. really. That's um, good. Mainly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, mainly because we're in different age groups, right? Right. Um, and he just looks a lot older than me, especially <laughs> now. A no shade. No shade. No, <laughs> no, no shade, shade. shade to your brother. Actually older. No, that's, he is actually older. Yeah. That's actually cool because I, I get um, I, that I look fifteen and sixteen all the time. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Even though I'm 18. Right, that's, right. That's great for you. My mom has always mm -hmm. said it's good to look a little younger. Right. It helps. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. yeah I, that, that's what I've been told, too. I mean, I, I feel like sometimes it would be good to <laughs> look my own age. So I don't, like, get asked uh, to see my ID every time I go into a movie. But, um, <laughs> Don't worry, that's gonna stop soon. I know. Don't worry, exactly. enjoy it while you can. Enjoy that's all it for sure. Okay, let's talk about Disney. So we okay. all know that a lot of Disney characters, in, like Miley Cyrus, sometimes they can go a little left field. Uh, so what is it that you're doing or your parents are doing to keep you really grounded? Um, I think my my parents just 
made it abundantly clear that um, not only me, but just all of my brothers, we are not going to do anything ridiculous. Right. Like, just because we are a reflection of them, just right. how we live our lives. And just the way they raised us, uh, it was made abundantly clear, like, <laughs> we are not doing drugs. Right. We're not going to be all drunk in public all the time. We're not going to be acting crazy. We're going to make sure that um, uh, they, they raised us right. And they want to make sure we represent them and represent our people well. And you, they, you don't want to get that beat down for your mama. No, oh, no. no. <laughs> Not at all. You're never too old to get a beat down. Right, right, no, right. It, it will still happen. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, speaking of Disney and the show that you're on, being on set, you have a tutor, right? Yeah. Do you ever miss public school? Uh, not really. Really? No, <laughs> not really. Uh, I feel like I, I, I am learning m more. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like I, 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 it's a better way for me to learn that way. Mm -hmm. More, more one on one. Uh, some people like it's easy for them to learn, to learn in the classroom setting. And right. for me, I just feel like it's easier to work with a, a teacher or right. a tutor. Right, right, Is right. there anything that you miss from it from public school? The um, lunch? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Not when you have crafty on set. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> not necessarily. Yeah. Um, I, I think one thing I, I'd miss is just uh, the socialization of being in like a classroom setting and being in actual in, in actual school, being mm -hmm. able to meet people from school and hang out with them. But uh, I've been able to meet people just in the city and just uh, meet friends uh, naturally in other ways. Oh, okay. right, right. That's good. good. And then, so, you know, um, you're a young actor. You've got a lot going for you, especially in your career and the longevity of a career. Are there any roles that you're like, that's something that I wouldn't do? Hmm. Wow, that's a good question. I never thought about that. Um, I, I'm, I'm sure there are. I, I, there are more roles that... I feel like I wouldn't do now. Mm -hmm. Like, I might be open to doing them later, but I can't. Uh, I wouldn't feel comfortable doing them now. Um, but, like, I don't know. I, I, I don't feel like I'd be comfortable playing someone historically right now, <laughs> someone right. who's known historically, because I, I want to be able to put in time and really dedicate myself to the work to get to know that person right. uh, and uh, represent them um, the right way. Right. And uh, now I, I feel like I haven't been experienced enough in the industry to do that. Is there anyone that you would like to be? Like, hmm. when you think about historically, like, is there anyone that you're like, hmm, I would like to do that nice one day. a nice period piece, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I've never really thought about that, who, who I would play. Because there were... Um, there were a few I had thought of when I was younger, right. like well, when I when I looked younger. But um, now I don't know. Like, who who do you think I could play? I don't know. Hmm. I think it would have to be like a young version of someone. Right. We'll see. I don't know. All the good biopics have been done. Yeah. No, but yeah. Roots is coming back out, so Roots That's is going to need a lot of yeah. people. That's true. So. I mean, Maybe. You're like, maybe mm, I don't know if I can go that. <laughs> I, I mean, like, I'm super thin, so I don't know if I'd be able to play, like... Uh, no, you might. You might, because there's a couple people that, you know, they, they had to come across that are a little thinner, so you might. True. No, but there's there's a lot of different roles that I, I, I feel like you are such a talented young actor mm -hmm. that you'll be able to pull off anything. So the fact that you can even sit here and go, you know, like, I, I want to get into it and I want to learn more about it. And that's so amazing and humbling that I even hear you say that, because some yeah, people will go for you. the top be like, I'm going for Michael Jackson. <laughs> right. And the remake, I am Michael Jackson. Oh, my God. I'm going to be Michael Jackson. <laughs> right, right. So I appreciate that you're humble enough to be like, nah, I need time for that. I love it. I Definitely. love it. Yeah, well, I want to make sure I, I'm, I'm good at my job and I'm right. able to, to represent you the right way before I play you. See, good, I like way. You are so I mature. It. I love that. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's talk about uh, set again. Is there ever, um, is there a favorite moment that you have on set that you can recall? Hmm. Um, the first thing that's coming to my mind is just laughing until my, my stomach hurts. Mm -hmm. Like every week, because <laughs> we uh, the things that don't get into the episodes, I feel like are the the funniest things. Like every time we mess up or every right. time we ad lib lines, um, we just there are times when we can't, like we can barely make it through a scene because we're all laughing right. so hard. Oh, it's those moments that I really I really love. There should be like a blooper. I was just gonna say that. Yeah. Definitely yes. need to release that blooper reel. 
That would be fun. I'm sure the fans, all the Lab Rats fans would love it. Oh, I'd love to share that. That would yeah. be so, it'd be so much fun. So you've been um, Leo Dooley on um, Disney XD's Lab Rats for three years. Yeah. What is it, what's your typical day on set like? Um, uh, I'd say it depends on the day because we have different schedules for each day. But a, a typical day for Lab Rats is me um, getting in usually like 8 a.m., um, uh, we, we all get in, we start rehearsing the scenes for the episode. Um, depending on what day of the week it is, if it's like Wednesday through Thursday, we have rehearsal, uh, and then we have a run-through where we, where we uh, go through all the scenes of the script to make sure all the beats are right. And uh, uh, the inviters, the, I mean, the writers are invited down <laughs> to see it so they can fine-tune the script, make sure it's, it's all good uh, for when we shoot. And then... Um, if it's on Monday or Tuesday, this is when we're shooting. We okay. show up and we actually shoot the episodes, put them down on tape, um, and make sure that they're as, as good as they can be. We've already ran through them. The the writers are fine tuned enough. Um, and while we're shooting, sometimes they'll have like alternate versions of lines or scenes right. that they'll just throw uh, throw at us on the spot. Um, and we just we just need to be be ready for them. We just need right. to be ready mm-hmm. to to adjust. Good, good, good. Right. Now, you also played Tyrone on Nickelodeon's Backyard Again. I did. With the singing voice. I so, did. I'm going to put you on the spot. I want to hear a sample. Oh, man. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I, no, no, no. I need to hear something. I need to hear a little something. No, I honestly, that was, okay, that was a, a, a few years ago, and my voice was much, much higher. I don't know how it's going to sound now. That, that puberty hit. This is like, puberty this hit. is t- Teenage like, Tyrone. Little, this is no longer yes. like the little elementary school Tyrone on the backyard again. Oh, Tyrone my grew up. Tyrone grew up. Okay. Tyrone grew up. <laughs> well, we need to hear a little something. Um, uh, <laughs> I don't know. You put me on the spot. I didn't have uh, anything prepared. Okay. Okay. So, we'll I, I have on. a question. So, why did they have you as the singing voice and, and not the, like the regular speaking voice? Yeah. Um. Well, I got an audition for the singing voice of Tyrone, and I had been singing for. A while, like not uh, not in, in public or performing or anything, but I'd been singing and uh, kind of training with my mom because she knew I was able to sing. Mm-hmm. Um, so the audition came around, and I, I was like, "This is really cool. I I, I, right. I, should, I need to I need to do this." And I, I went in, I auditioned for it, and I was able. To, I had to go in and sing in front of like seven people, uh-huh. like seven executives of the show. Oh, I was man. super nervous because <laughs> um, that was not something I was used to doing. I was used right. to acting in right, front right. of a, a, mm-hmm. a camera, not singing. Um, and a few months later, I remember getting a call and them saying, "You." got it we're gonna fly you out to new york to to start recording episodes right wow. um and it was a really really awesome experience just being able to to sing to a bunch of different genres of music one of the things right. i loved about backyard Against is that it wasn't just uh you we weren't just singing songs that they wrote there were songs from all different uh parts of the world mm-hmm. and i think that really affected how i listen to music now Mm-hmm. So I, I I don't like to limit myself to just one genre of music to right. listen to. I like um, hearing influences of different genres in different parts of the world. Right, mm-hmm. right. Now I want to know since your voice has developed a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know: um, Would you ever consider Broadway? Broadway. Yeah. Yeah, For I sure. would. Yeah, I, I've definitely thought about it. It's something I I'd love to do. I'd love to work on it a bit before I do it. But. Right. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's something I, I've thought of, and if the the opportunity comes up, I, I I'd be down to do it. Would you okay. Would you make an album? Uh, yeah. What I kind of, gonna do everything. What kind of What kind of music though is your, like? Would you be more pop? Would you be more like rock? R and B? Are you gonna be Johnny Gill over here? Like what? <laughs> yeah, like, what? Uh, <laughs> I love some Johnny Gill. I, I feel like I'd be more uh, more R and B, kind of more of like a like a the, the indie R and B sound okay. of now uh, nowadays. Okay. Um, because me and my my older brother have been working on music. Right. We, we've done that before, and we plan on doing more of that in the future. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I I think I'd uh, I'd have to take a minute to find my sound. I think my sound would be more of a more of an R and B kind of uh, in that vein. Okay, you be All crooning right. to the ladies, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. But what are you guys going to call yourselves? The Williams Brothers. The Williams 2, not the Jack uh, and 5. The Williams, Williams 2. 2. <laughs> the Williams 2. No, 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 man. No, I don't, I don't think that one's going to work. 
<laughs> um, I mean, I just throw it out there. You know, yeah, yeah. Never know. <laughs> I think the, the, the name we've been working with so far is just TJW, our okay. initials. Okay. Right, right. Because right. you guys have the same initials. How yeah. cute is that? Is it, is it just you two? Um, no, there are, there are three of us. How uh, old is the third one? He is 13, turning 14 this December. Um, and he's he's working too. Is he an actor wow. too? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's on uh, Instant Mom on Nick and Knight. Oh, that's oh, your brother? Wow. Yeah. Look at you. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, Mom. You I'm did good. You got three successful sons. Good job. You guys are so awesome. I need to talk Thank to your mom you. and right. see if she's disappointed she didn't get any little girls, though. Uh, she was expecting girls, but she... <laughs> you got some talented stuff. Exactly. The Williams Three! Get yes. Yes. That's yes. The Williams <laughs> Three! The Williams Three! That's what we're going to call you guys. All right, so you also started a movie with uh, Matthew McConaughey. Yes, a failure did. to launch. And you started his nephew, right? On mm-hmm. that. Oh, what was it like to work with him? What did you learn from him? It was, it was a really, really great experience. I remember just feeling like that was my first really big, important job like I was working with people who were well known and I was like this is awesome and huge and I I, I remember not necessarily knowing who uh, Matthew McConaughey was because at the time I was uh, six seven eight uh, I hadn't known a bunch of his stuff but I just remember him being the coolest person I've ever met right like my first day on set I was sitting in the trailer waiting to go on set and he just showed up and walked in my trailer and started <laughs> hanging out with me and talking to me and I was like but you're you're in movies you're not supposed to be talking to me I'm, I'm just Aww, this young kid who's on, not worthy. on set <laughs> yeah. and he was just really cool with me the entire the, the entirety of, of shooting right. I was very fortunate to, to work with him mm-hmm and then we we briefly talked about it, but do you have any dream roles that you would want to do? I know we talked about historical pieces, but anything mm-hmm. that you had in mind? Um, dream roles. I have a few. I have a few <laughs> dream roles. Um, lately, I've been feeling like I I'd love to do uh, sort of like a like a, a, a crazy person, which sounds weird. <laughs> um, Is that a challenging role for like you? a dramatic yeah. crazy person, like like yeah. insane asylum crazy? Yeah, okay. just just being having to work on that and and uh, and present that would be really really interesting and something I, I'd like to do. Which sounds weird. Like I want to be a crazy person. <laughs> um, but just getting into the mindset of someone like that, I feel like it'd be a good it could be it'd be good work to do. Mm-hmm. And also like I like I said, I'm a huge nerd, so. Any superhero, I am down for. <laughs> <laughs> what would your superpower be? Uh, Which one for you? For in real life? Yeah. Uh, teleportation. Yeah. I feel like that, so I don't have to ever get stuck in traffic, and I would be never be late. I'd never be late again. I love that. I would like to go through stuff. Oh yeah, to like walk I through walls. Like, yeah, I'd go through it anywhere. And I feel like if you tried to like. Attack me, I could just be like, boom, I'm out of this wall. Peace <laughs> out. Boom, I'm out. What would yours be? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to go with teleportation because. No, I, you got to pick no, a different one. I'm not picking a different one because I want to be a jet setter. I, I don't have <laughs> hey. I don't have to hook up with the flights. So I want to be a jet setter and teleport. Right? Oh you my just goodness. go anywhere. You don't need to pay for flights. Right. Yeah. Mom, Gas. you need something? I'm there. So and so, you need something? All right. I well, love that. Well, then you guys will need me to help you get into like hotels and stuff for free. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's right. very true. Oh my we goodness. can get there, but we need you to get right, there. Right, right, right. So, <laughs> nice little collaboration. Yeah. Now, we talked about you uh, being 18, mm-hmm. and you've kind of done so much, I wouldn't even say that you're starting in the business, right. but you're still really young and fresh. So, is do you? what do you see yourself doing in the next five years? Uh, in the next five years, mm-hmm. I see myself doing um, a few smaller roles. Just like in in other, uh, in either shows or movies, just kind of working my way up to um, not only getting better at my craft, but then also kind of growing as an actor and um, and as a person. You know, mm-hmm. I, I've been every every step of the way. I've been trying to make sure I'm a good person as well as a good actor. So I'm I see myself growing slowly. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Kind of inching towards the top. If you, you, and since you're 18, you're you just turned 18. Are you gonna vote this year? Are you gonna vote for the the next new president? 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I am. I'm really nervous about that, though. Why? Because I know my vote. Um, my vote counts, and right. I want to yeah. make sure I I'm educated. And I'm voting for the right. Say person. that again. High five. You better do that. <laughs> yeah, so I many wanna, people don't. You know, they just yeah. don't. They don't educate themselves. They go with the just, trend. I want to mm-hmm. just walk into like a right. a, a, a voter like a, a voting booth and just. Man, this guy seems cool. Right. Well, I, I like, like this I name. Like name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I heard this name somewhere. I know I'm good with that person is like, you get nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so good job. Good yeah, job. I want to make sure I know who I'm voting for and I, I feel like they're the, the, the right person. Right, right. And did you watch the debates yesterday? I didn't. I did record them though, so I'm gonna have to to watch them. But um, that's something that's been in, intimidating for me for yeah. the past few uh, for the past few months. It but kind that's of good. hit me like, oh, I'm gonna have to vote next year. Yeah, you gotta listen to this <laughs> stuff now. Yeah. There you go. That's okay. You're you're on the right path. You're getting informed. That's what I like to hear. If, if you weren't an actor, what would you be? Uh, if I wasn't an actor, um, honestly, I feel like I'd be a YouTuber. Mm-hmm. What would you YouTube yeah. about? Um, just life and just like uh, just my experiences with life and and um, I do it in a funny way. Right. But um. I just record, like, probably, like, vlogs and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, Maybe, like, a a draw my life or something. Um, But I feel like that's where I would be in that vein. Still entertaining people, but doing it uh, that way. Is there anyone that you subscribe to that you just have to watch when they put videos up? Um, There are a few people, but I I don't think I subscribe to them because I have um, I have Google Plus, so it's weird how it's kind of links everything, but not really. Mm -hmm. Um, I am a huge fan of uh, Swoozy. I've been uh, watching his videos for a long time. Mm -hmm. Uh, This guy named Domix, uh, William Haynes. Mm Um, and this guy named Markiplier who plays video games and adds commentary, and it's hilarious. Right, oh, right, wow. right. Oh, I love it. So, you know, you're so busy. Do you have time for a relationship? I am very busy. I feel like I do have time for a relationship. <laughs> but you don't but want I one? don't make enough time okay. uh-huh. <laughs> for a relationship. That's honest. All right, yeah. that's fair. Um, I, I don't know. I, I feel like I could. Like, if I really wanted to go out and find somebody, I could. But um, So it's a choice. You've made a choice. Not right now. Yeah. I mean, I, I could. Act, like, I feel like I could just go, uh, go out and devote time to it. But right now, I have, I have mm-hmm. a lot on my plate. I right, want right. to make sure I have everything in order first. So for all the Twitter sphere out there, what, if you were looking, what, are, what qualities are important? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um... Looks aren't as much of a factor for me. So you date an ugly girl. Um, Stop it. <laughs> we have this debate all the I mean, time. To, to, uh, according to um, a few people's standards, yeah. Like, Good job. So. Yes. Because it's what's I on the inside. That. No, I do too. It's what's on the inside that counts. Yeah. Yes. Like, I, I'm a personality person too. Meg knows. I'm like... <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Not like, no shade to my boyfriend. I love you. You're handsome. <laughs> but that doesn't matter to me. Yeah, like you have a, you have to have a good uh, good personality. You have to be smart, uh-huh. which is it's a that's a big thing for me. I need to be able to have like a really good solid conversation with you. Um, cuz you can be like pretty for days, but if someone's just like if there's nothing right in, inside your brain. Right. Um, a little not wheels, much not conversation roll. there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I also, I feel like I, I, I need somebody who's uh, a nerd like me because I I freak out over, like, trailers and, right. uh, and like, re- leaked pictures and stuff. And I feel like um, uh, any other normal person would just be like, eh, stop doing that. Someone who understands you're crazy, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. That's there what you need. Go. That's what everyone needs in life. So yeah. now everyone's going to be like DMing you. So, hey, I'm not a looker, but I am really, really nice. <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> we just, sorry, Tyra. We just set you up on accident. Oh sorry. Oh, my goodness. All these girls don't make, don't you make a Tinder no. account. Don't do that. Oh, no. They'll be all over you. <laughs> don't do that. They'll be like, I'm not that great. But <laughs> yeah. I am I great. Everything that you listed. <laughs> oh my so don't look at me. Let's have a conversation. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, so let's talk about some upcoming projects. Tell us what's coming up with you. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, well, uh, season four of Lab Rats is airing now, um, and that's looking like it's going to be our last season. Okay. Oh, man. So uh, yeah, but it's um, we got some really, really big, exciting things happening in this season. Um, a lot of 
serious moments, like a lot of uh, big kind of dramatic moments that I'm really looking forward to this to the fans seeing. Okay. Um, and aside from that, there's some other things that are big possibilities okay. that I'm looking forward to. Good, good, that good. That I'm not really able to talk about right well, now, but okay. they're possibilities. They're huge. Yeah. Yes, we're excited about that. What are you know? You're busy. So, what are some of your hobbies that you do? Uh, my hobbies. Um. I'm a pretty big reader. I like to I like to read a lot. Um, uh, I like to read uh, no, uh, books, novels, graphic novels, okay. um, comic books, admittedly. Um, <laughs> uh, I watch a lot of TV. Mm-hmm. Like um, Netflix has become right like, your thing. Yeah, my my saving grace when it comes to TV because I fall behind on TV yeah, shows a lot I, when, yeah. when I'm working. What's your guilty pleasure show? My guilty pleasure show, or something you have to binge watch. Um, for a long time, uh, it was Agents of Shield. Oh yeah. yeah. I recently caught up on that one though, so I have to. So I have are to you gonna do Agent Carter now? I'm gonna have to do that. Yeah, you have to. I have to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. Like I'm gonna it. get on that. I'm gonna get on that soon. But I um I also recently watched Wet Hot American Summer, okay. the movie for the sole purpose of being able to watch the show on right, Netflix. Right. Oh, wow. So I feel like that might replace it. Okay. Well, who's your favorite? You said you read a lot of uh, comic books. Who's your favorite comic book character? Uh, my favorite comic book character right now, I think it's uh, the Ultimate Comics version of Spider-Man, which is the, the Miles Morales version. Ah. Uh-huh. Yes, because well, yeah, yeah, that's the new one. He's black, right? Mm-hmm. Or he's Latino. He's uh, he's half black, half Latino. See, mm-hmm. go ahead. I, I love Latino. this. Yes. Yeah. I, Very cool. I was drawn to it mainly because he was he was half black, and yeah. it's just a really well written comic. Very mm-hmm. cool. Like props to Brian Michael Bendis, who's the writer. Maybe that's just... who you should play. I would love to. Oh my gosh, we're gonna and put that out in the atmosphere. You are gonna be Miles Morales. I would love to do that. That's, I am not opposed to that at all. Okay. Like, yeah. Just, well, since we suggested it, make sure we're like at least get to be janitors on the set or something. <laughs> yeah. You know be what I'm saying? Background actors. Yeah. <laughs> you can right. be like one of the people who screams when like something explodes. Ah! Yeah. Oh my god. Is that good? Yeah. That they can really put me good. in there for that one. Ah! No, mm-hmm. Megan. She's way really louder <laughs> just, than that. She's playing right now. <laughs> I'll take like a screen grab of that and just like show it to yeah. the directors. And be like, these are the people you need. See, <laughs> I'm feeling you. See. You look, mm-hmm. Tyrell for Miles Morales. We're gonna start. <laughs> yes. We're gonna start that. We're gonna start Thank that you. trending on Twitter. <laughs> so before we get out of here, where can we find you on social media? Uh, you can find me on Twitter uh, at, at Tyrell J Will and on Instagram at, at Tyrell underscore J underscore Will. Okay, and before before we really get out of here, what's one thing that you want all of your fans to know? Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, 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 one thing I want all my fans to know is I may not be on Twitter and Instagram a lot, but I, I see all the things, all the nice things you guys say, and I, I really appreciate it. So thank you guys for following me and sticking with me, even though I don't post a lot, a lot. I, I want to, uh, I see you guys, and you guys are really making an impact on me. Sweet. That is so sweet. You're such a sweetheart. I know. Oh, so genuine. Thank you. So great. <laughs> Don't worry, but them girls are going to want you to respond to their direct messages today. All right. <laughs> Where can we find I'm you? I'm serious. Stay off Tinder, but you guys can keep in touch with me at Tesnos on Twitter and Instagram and on Snapchat right now. And you can find me, Megan Thomas, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Periscope at MegScoop, like scoop of ice cream. And don't forget to use the hashtag BHLNext so yes. you can we can see all of your comments, your tweets, your questions, who you want on the show. Let us know. Stay tuned. We'll see you next week. Bye. From executives Kevin Undergaro, Dario Kristen, Tiana Hobson, and the entire BHL staff, We would like to thank you for supporting Black Hollywood Live, the first online broadcast network dedicated to African-American entertainment. For questions and comments, contact us, info at blackhollywoodlive.com. Like us on Facebook, tweet us, or Instagram us at BHL Online. And I am the official voice of Black Hollywood Live, Scipio, Instagram me, at KingXOBay. Thanks for tuning in. Hollywood Redefined. The views expressed here are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of BHL or its owners or principals.